Beyond 100 Days, helping you make sense of it all. Monday to Thursdays at 7 on the BBC News Channel. A huge demonstration on the streets of central London demanding another vote on Brexit. Organisers say 100,000 people from across the nation took part. Nobody voted to damage the country in this way. The will of the people is to have a proper, informed referendum where we know what Brexit deal means. A narrow escape for Zimbabwe's president as a bomb explodes during his election campaign rally. New evidence of the devastating effect of plastic pollution on wildlife on a remote Pacific island. Hello, very good evening to you. Two years after the Brexit referendum, huge numbers of people have taken to the streets of London demanding what they call a people's vote on the final terms of Britain's departure from the EU. The organisers said more than 100,000 people from across the UK took part and it came as the engineering firm Siemens became the latest manufacturer calling on the government to stay closely aligned with the single market. Senior cabinet ministers again said they are prepared to walk away from the negotiations rather than accept a bad deal. Our political correspondent Ben Wright reports. Well, you can see much more, of course, in all of today's stories on the BBC News Channel, but that's all from me and the team here. Very good night to you. Bye bye. Hello once again. With the notable exception of parts of Scotland, that really wasn't a bad start to the weekend. Uh, glorious conditions for many parts.